Why does your fish keep lip locking? For many novice fish keepers or should I say casual fish keepers, the sight of fish lip locking may become scary. This become more troublesome, when a piece of one of the fish lips gets torn off or scales around the mouth section of the fish get jagged off. This video shares with you the why for this action. Lip locking is most common amongst cichlid fish species. This can suggest several things is on in earnest within the aquarium or pond. This can mean aggression, bully, the challenge for alpha male status, breeding rights, and in some cases a breeding ritual. Territorial The practice of lip locking is primarily a male fish game. Two males lock lips together, in an effort to prove who owns a particular territory within the aquarium space. This action can lead to one fish pulling apart the other lip, which may eventually result in the loser being unable to eat, and in short will starve to death. Should you see this behavior become too violent, remove one of the two fish from that aquarium. Breeding Some fish press their lips together during mating. It may look like lip locking but it's more like a kiss. This action could be considered passionate and not as aggressive as described above. This behavior is likened to courtship, just before the female lays the eggs and the male fertilizes them. Some persons may get both actions confused, lip locking can mean several means of communication between varied fish species. I advise that you check literature on your specific species of fish before taking any action. You may just mess up a great partnership between a male and a female pair. A quick guide on this however is that male-male jaw locking tends to be a serious sign of aggression, while male-female pairs engaging in this behavior tend to be undergoing courtship. How can you manage male-to-male -male aggression within your aquarium space? Aggression among cichlids can be a problem, as it leads to stress and injuries. The first step to mitigating this is to research your species before you get them. In some species, males of the same species can't share a tank. Avoid getting males of similarly colored species. And, based on your research, keep the right ratio of males to females. These vary considerably based on your specific species of cichlid. You may need to move fighting fish to different tanks or install a tank divider if your cichlids fighting gets serious. Let me know your past experiences, thanks for watching, rally here, big up Rob from Rob93 Aquatics.